Welcome to the Design in It 9 video learning series. In this tutorial, we'll be working in original pattern drafting, entering in a new garment from a diagram that we measured off of an existing sweater. I laid this on my dining room table and used a measuring tape and wrote down this set of measurements for a sweater that I would like to create in designing it. When we work in original pattern drafting and we enter in a sweater like this, we enter in the measurements without the ribbing. This is because original pattern drafting does not assemble garments back together into a finished sweater. This gives you a lot more opportunities to create things like pants and suits and jackets. So we just need to keep that in mind when we're making our garment. Options, units of measurement. We're working in centimeters this time. Options, tensions, 32 and 40. You can change this to whatever you want, but the, it is right now it is set as the default. And notes about this shape. I'm going to say this is from a sweater that I love in my collection. Piece, new piece. I'm going to use the default tension. I want to have a square. The front is going to be 55.5 centimeters wide, 62.5 centimeters high, and I do want the vertical mirror on so that it reflects symmetrically on both sides of the garment. We're going to name this front. And now we have a piece. We have right now six points. The next thing to do is to put in the neckline. We want to add a point here approximately and it also added one here because of the vertical mirror. Turn this off and it isn't exactly aligned here so I'm going to highlight this whole area and say measure, align these points horizontally with point number one. And look how fast that is. In addition, I want to measure from here to here. And right now it's 12.3. From our measurements, we know that we want a neckline that's 20 centimeters wide. So this needs to be 10 on each side. So I'm going to only highlight this point now, and I'm going to say Edit Measured Adjustment. And for point two, I would like to move it over horizontally 2.3 centimeters. And now it says 10, perfect. But this point hasn't moved yet. So we're going to turn the mirror off and turn it right back on and say yes, reflect the points. And now it moved this one into position as well. Take this measure edge and remove this measurement. We would like to put a neckline in and curves go in between two points. So this point is actually in the way. So let's highlight that as the active point and I'm using my delete key on my keyboard to remove it. Next, I'm going to turn the big cursor on so that I can see how far to come down. I also want to be able to look on the ruler that it's going down 10 centimeters and it will be easier if I use this point of origin and click here for point one and this makes the ruler jump to zero and zero for this particular point. Now I can add in a curve and I'm going to click here 
for where I would like the curve. I'm going to say I would like six points. These are symmetrical curves. I like this one quite a lot. These are more appropriate for armhole edges, and these are Bezier curves, which we will talk about separately. OK. And I'm just going to move down, and I'm looking with my big cursor on the ruler on the right until it lines up with the 10 centimeters down, and then let go. And let's turn off the big cursor and the points, and you can see here's my neckline. Next, I want to add a point here for the armhole. So I'm going to click here and say add a point approximately here. Notice it's not quite aligned. Turn off the add. Select all of these points and say measure align. This time vertically with point number 13. Measure from here to here. And our measurements that we took off of the sweater, this needs to be 30 centimeters up. So we're going to say Edit, Measure, Adjustment. And we want to move this down. Let's select this point again. We want to move this down, so it's going to be minus 2.5. Apply. And now it's 30. The last thing that we want to do for the front is to turn the markers on and put a marker here so that when I knit up to this point, I have actually I have two points in here. I don't let's turn this on. I'm going to I don't need this point because this is the point that's 30 centimeters up. And let's put a marker on that one. I also want to, if I turn my vertical mirror on now, it's going to try a mirror from the left to the right, but there's nothing on the left of zero here. I need to move my origin back to the middle, turn it off, and turn it back on, and reflect the points, and that puts this point up here too. And let's put a marker over there. Perfect. Now we want to say piece, duplicate this piece, and this will be the back. And they look exactly the same. This one here is the front. This one is the back. And they're a darker blue because they were created entirely in original pattern drafting. Now, the back, we don't need all of these points. Let's highlight like this and hit the delete key on my keyboard. And now we have the back. If you do want to have a slight curve here, you can do the same thing. Turn the big cursor on, move the point of origin up to the line at the top, put a curve in, and in here, click, and let's say we're going to put in four points, this number four curve, and we're just going to make it a gentle back curve. We need another piece, piece, new piece. This will be the sleeve. For the sleeve, the maximum width is 26.5 and the height is 59.4 okay this is going to be called sleeve let's move this piece over here for a minute when we said this was 26.5 that's from here to here but it needs to be double that because i need to go from the front all the way around to the back. So this width, we're going to say fit to width, and we really want it to be 26.5 times 3, 53. 
So we've adjusted this. We need to move this point in to become the wrist part. Right now, the ruler is positioned here for the point of origin. So let's do this, measure the edge again clockwise from here to here. This is 26.5, but I want it to be 8.5. So this point needs to move in. Edit, measure, adjustment. And I want to move this horizontally over 18 centimeters. And it's 8.5. I would like to also add a point here so I have a little bit where I'm knitting straight. And I'm going to just add a point right about here. Again, measure from here to here. We want to align these two points vertically. And I want it to align under point number one. And that move that over. I want this to be two and a half centimeters down. So I'm going to click just on this point, edit, measured, adjustment, and I need to move it up vertically 0 0.2. Too far. Measured adjustment, move it down. 0 0.3. Now it's correct. The last thing is to turn the vertical mirror off and turn it back on so that these points are reflected on this side and we're done. Move these around. Let's move this down here. I'm going to say piece, duplicate this piece, sleeve two, and there we go. We want to check this, that it has markers on it, and it does. We have a lot of measured adjustments here. View, turn off the measured edge and hide it for now and turn off the point numbering. And there you go. File, save as, give it a new name. I'm going to call this printed sweater measurements. All I would need to do is knit an accurate tension swatch and put that in here and write notes to myself what this garment is, and then resave it. Thank you.